Hi everybody, welcome to my Terraria tutorial. This is how to survive your first night. If you're a new player, it can be a little bit scary in the world of Terraria, as you are beset by evil slimes and worse. Zombies, demon eyes come out at night, so you have a li limited time during the day in which to build yourself a little shelter and get indoors. So, we're going to take this from the very first steps. So go ahead and create a world. I've already got one made up. I'm going to click on that now, Tutorial World, and we'll get rolling. So the world is now actually being loaded into memory. Again, I have generated this world already, but it's brand new. I have not been in it yet. The character is also brand new. So here we go. We're in Terraria. And this little man running away is my guide. Hold on there, fella. Now, he's invincible. I can't hurt him. Neither can the monsters. And if you right-click on the guide with your mouse button, he gives you a few tips. He says, Greeting, Punchwood. Is there something I can help you with? That's me, Punchwood, by the way. And click on the Help um, link here and he will change his tip. You can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt and your axe to chop down trees. Just place your cursor over the tile and click. Good advice. If you want to survive, you will need to create weapons and shelter. Start by chopping down trees and gathering wood and that's exactly what we're going to do. So, oh sorry I didn't mean to swing at you, but like I said he's invincible and if you, right if you point at him with your mouse you'll see that he has 250 hit points but they never actually go down. So here we have um, a slime incoming. Let me deal with this guy. And you basically just want to point your mouse at him and swing with the left mouse click. You can actually hold that mouse down and it just rotates right around and swing like Paul Bunyan like no tomorrow. All right, so let's navigate here. You navigate with the A key to the left, D key to the right, space bar to jump. And when we're able to climb, A climbs up and S climbs down. We'll need ladders or platforms to demonstrate that. First thing we're going to do is chop wood. So saith the guide and that's what we're going to do. Up here is our hotbar. Hotbar can be scrolled through with a mouse scroll wheel to choose which item you wish to choose. Put in your hand is the active item and here comes another slime. Or you can just press the corresponding number. The first slot being one on your keyboard, second two, three, four, and so on. So let's head uh, over here to the X and let's chop a tree. So basically you just want to point at it with your mouse. You gotta get relatively close and just hold down the mouse button. And I am chopping wood. Punch wood is chopping wood and here comes another slime. As you can see enemies do come out during the day. And we have again a limited amount of time in the day with which we have to get ready for the night. So we want to, not only do we want to chop up some wood, we also want to clear a space to build a house. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop down these trees. And as you can see, I just hold the mouse button down near the roots. And the whole tree comes tumbling down. It goes right into my inventory. If you look up on the hot bar up here, you can see the wood being collected. Excuse me, guide. I call him Good. First time I saw him, it looked like Good. Now, what do we have here? We have mushrooms. You want to chop these, take them into your inventory because they will heal you. This is your life up here. As you can see, I've already taken a hit from a slime and I'm down to 92 life from 100 maximum. These can be, can be increased over time. You'll find items in the game that will increase your life power. All right, moving on. Let's clear another tree here. And oh, look who's coming big surprise. Now your pick does more damage. As you can see the numbers floating up above the slime's head, the pick does more damage than the axe. So you want to use that for initial battles. All right, we have 83 wood. This is enough to get started. You can also click up here too. Again, you can use the scroll wheel or the number or click. And I'm going to start by placing a floor. So you want to get your the wood in your hand here. Oh, slime. Let's go back to my pickaxe and just chop poke, poke, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. See, this is why we need to get a shelter. Now, at night, worse things come out than slimes. We'll get zombies. And we'll get demon eyes and other things. So anyway, here I have my wood in my hand, and I'm just going to click right here and put down some flooring. You can just hold it down, actually, and run. Hold everything. There must be some kind of a slime nest around here, but we'll go exploring later. 
All right, so we don't need a very big home to begin with. In fact, you want to preserve some of your wood, so I recommend not making it too large. Oh, hello, green slimes. And as you point at them, you'll see how many hit points they have. I don't know, he's a jumpy little fella. They're not very difficult to kill, but they can um, jump pretty far, so you have to be prepared for that. Now, I'm not going to go up too high. Oh, this right here, by the way, is gel. You'll notice when you kill slimes, they drop gel. And I'm going to go pick that up, just get close to it. In fact, this may be a good time to show you how to get into your inventory. Or, as our British cousins like to say, is inventory. Escape. And here we have, over here, our entire inventory. This is the hot bar up along the top. Coins are collected here. There's multiple types of coins. Right now I have only coppers. And then down here we have a very, very limited crafting space. I can only make, right now, torches, wood platforms, and a workbench. And in fact, we're going to need a workbench very soon. But I'm going to close that down, hit it again, and I'm going to put up a rooftop. Oh, 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 oh. Here comes another slime. Let's see if I can get the roof up before he gets in. Ha ha! So, we have frame of a shelter. Of course, this is not really a very comfortable home. Not nearly complete. And in fact, this backspace here, which is wide open to the world, is going to be a problem because monsters can spawn in if we don't put up a wall here. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So, in fact, let's do that right now. We need a workbench to create more stuff. So go ahead and click on escape. And as you can see here, workbench requires 10 wood. We do have enough. So I click on that, put it in my hotbar, hit escape, and then scroll over to that, put it in my hand, and point to the ground here and place it down. So now if I get close to this, press escape, my crafting area opens up with more options. As you can see, I can now craft a wooden sword which is a fine thing to do early on in the game, but I want to make sure I have enough wood for some other things first. For example, we want wood wall to cover the back so things don't spawn in. We can make a bow, a hammer, that will come in handy later, make a table and a chair. For right now, let's make the wood wall. Just click on this, and as you can see, it's using up my wood to make the wall. You know, I may have to go out and chop more wood. All right, so now what we want to do is fill in this back space here with our wall. And you just click like so. Don't worry about those little gaps. We can come back and fix that. Oh, jeez. Not much of a builder. Not a very good carpenter here, Punch. And while we go through this wood really quickly, I guess we don't really have to face that direction now, do we? Dun, dun. Now, wall, as you can see, is really on a different level than the flooring and other items in the game. It's behind us. There we go. That should prevent anything from getting in. So now let's head back over here to our workbench. Press escape, and I'm going to get some torches up. It, when the sun goes down, it does get dark. And I have enough gel and enough wood to make some torches. 18 should be fine for now. And I'm going to put one in my hand, and as you can see, the light follows me around. It's actually starting to get dark. The sun is on its way down. Now I need to get out of here. I want to go collect some more wood so we can bust this up. And I'm going to have to get a door, but I want to grab some more wood before I head back in for the night. Oh, look who's coming. Let's see if we can get that door made up. Uh, no, probably not. Come to me, slime. You're not welcome here. Jump. All right, so now let's head over here and escape and make a door. A door requires six pieces of wood. We have enough for that. Um, I'm going to make two doors because I'm going to put one on the other side. Now, the interesting thing, one of the fun things about this game, Terraria, is that you can entice non-player characters or computer control characters to come and live with you. But you need certain things in order to do that. You have to, they have to have the right living conditions, in other words. Um, now, the guide will come and live with me if I create doors in my little home. First of all, you need a home. And I'm also going to need a general table, a wooden table. So I'm going to make a table, and I also need a chair, and I'm out of wood. So, now, to open a door, you just right-click on it. 
Let's get some more wood and create craft a chair. And we can perhaps entice our guide friend to come and move in with us and keep us company. We can play cards and have tea. Because beyond giving me some very basic advice in the beginning of the game, he's rather useless. Maybe I can get him to clean up around here. Okay, so, wooden chair. We click on the wooden chair, put it in the hot bar. Yeah, let's put the table down. No, you cannot get in, slime. I'm safe. Safe and sound in my little shelter. Ta -da. So, for the guide to live, we need light source. We need a table and a chair, and he should move in any time now. And we are... We're safe. We're good. We're good for the night. I can make it through here. I can stay in here all night. Zombies should be showing up any any time now. I'm going to make a sword to defend myself through the evening. Move some of this stuff over. Yeah, I like my mushrooms all the way over there so I can hit the zero key and get to it quickly. Acorns can be used to replant trees because you are going to need more wood as time goes on. And that's just a quick bunk. Left click. Left click, but you have to clear all this is weeds. Alright, well anyway, that's how to survive your first night. I'm good. I'm going to hide out in here and hopefully um, I will be able to make it through the night. Nothing can bust through here, so I'm going to be good. And I can open these doors and attack the zombies when they come. So what I'm going to do now is um, I think we're going to bid you farewell and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm trying to think of other things I may want to teach you here while I have your attention. I think what we'll do is we'll call it we'll call this quits now because that is um, I've we've got the shelter up we're good um, and I will continue with more tutorials if you like go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials I, we can there's a lot more to this game and I can take it from here and oh that's I was stalling I was I was stalling to see zombies and here they are so these are the guys the creepy dudes that you want to void in the evening. And for some reason they're not growling. They usually growl and they're running away. Come back. Come back and fight like a man zombie. Yeah, they are. Now they're growling. Okay. They weren't upset yet, but now they're upset. So you basically... Oh! Now if I close the door, he can't get in. He's gonna knock. He can knock all night. You can knock all night! Not coming in. You can't destroy the door unless it's a blood moon. And... Hopefully we don't get to tonight. And that's it. Chop, chop. Drop some money. Go get the money. And that is how to survive your first night and fight zombies off. So again, farewell. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to rate or give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate it. It definitely helps. And here's a zombie uh, demon eye. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, enough. I need to quit now. Goodbye.